Ted Koppel, there has been a rather strong earthquake in Northern California, so strong in fact that it has, among other things, knocked out all the power, uh, or much of the power, at Candlestick Park, where the third game of the World Series was being played. But in the overall scheme of things, that may be the very least of things that has happened today. You can see some video there. I gather that's live video of Candlestick Park. And we, we are feeling a shock right now, and that shaking in your picture is being amplified by the uh, tremor that has just gone through the top of the stadium and we are live they're taking the bases off uh, 841 Eastern 541 and we just felt it out here we're at ground level this is a live shot from our affiliate our own and operated station in San Francisco KGO and you can see that there are at least two major fires that seem to be in progress there let me just explain to you that uh, what we're doing here is we are listening in on the broadcast of our affiliate in San Francisco, KGO, because a great deal of the information that is coming is more readily accessible to them than it is to us. Uh, and they have reporters reporting live from around the entire Bay Area region. ...they can to stop the fire, but part of the problem, obviously, is, uh, is gas. Store water, prepare for aftershock, prepare for three days of no services. You got 90 minutes of light left. You better make use of your time. 
We have Leslie Brinkley standing by live right now. Leslie, go ahead. It's looking bad over here in Oakland. The electricity is out in much of the city, and we have a bad freeway collapse. It's that ramp of the Nimitz Freeway that goes from Cypress, Cypress Street on up to the Bay Bridge, about a six or seven block stretch of it collapsed during the earthquake. They are pulling bodies out from underneath this lower ramp. There were just some injuries on the upper ramp, but those on the lower ramp, there are a lot of fatalities. The epicenter of this earthquake is about 100 miles to the south in the Santa Cruz Mountains along the San Andreas Fault. We have had very difficult time getting any information out of that area tonight. Now our own Tony Russomano is live in Santa Cruz now to give us uh, some notion of what's happened. This is our first report from there. Tony? Pete, this town of 40,000 is about uh, 10 miles from the epicenter of the earthquake. You would expect the damage to be severe here, and it is. The downtown section of Santa Cruz is basically gone. All the old uh, brick, unreinforced buildings have collapsed. This is a department store called Ford's. It collapsed. The second store, the second story came down to the, into the first floor, trapping several people inside. At least three people are known to have died here on the mall. Perhaps uh, 12 to 14 total in Santa Cruz. Authorities do not have a, a final fatality figure. Many, many other people are injured. Power has been out for several hours. Sound? Camera? Rolling. All right, and action. All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more, right. a little more. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hello? Hello? Hey guys! What is this? Hello? Is someone there? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Damn it.
What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Don't
Welcome to the Project KV-31 Research and Development Team. In this short informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV-31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. What is Project KV-31? Project KV-31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The Machine. The Door. The Back Rooms. The Complex. Hallways. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the Async Research Facility is strictly prohibited. The Threshold Without Guided Supervision. Never enter the complex alone. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. Yeah, but that was two weeks ago. I'm not going to be doing anything about it now. I mean, do you really think that there's actually a vaccine in this situation? I mean, there's too many variables, because you want to do this, and you set the whole circle of stuff, and it's doable. We don't know how to do that. So I'm going to have to do this tomorrow, and I'm going to have to do this tomorrow. Go north. Um. Guys, do you hear this? Hey guys, do you hear this? Hey! Subject is male, um, somewhere between 18 and 21 years old. I estimate that the time of death was around five days ago, but due to the severe tissue damage, it's, it's hard to say for sure.
cause of death was likely malnutrition. I was able to recover most of the digestive tract. So, here's, things start to deviate from what we would consider to be natural. The decomposition process appears to have been stunted somehow. It, it's like, it's like portions of the body stopped decaying and, and were sustained. Other areas, however, were completely overtaken by culture. So, uh, I took uh, a couple samples of some of the material here. <clears throat> First, I, I thought it was a, an aggregated collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple hay bacillus. Which, it should be completely benign, but, well, really, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? Thank you.
the world around us is ever-changing. Throughout this past century, we have seen the advent of countless innovations that have completely reshaped life as we know it. But with all of this growth comes a number of undesirable byproducts. Byproducts that, if left unchecked, have the potential to irreversibly scar our modern world. As human expansion is projected to increase exponentially in the coming decades, we must account for these never-before-faced challenges in ways equally never-before considered. Here at Async, we believe we have found the solution. The Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. What is the Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System? Using 32 will be distributed across all points, allowing for cargo and personnel to seamlessly pass through their designated threshold. While our current threshold is limited in scale, future models will be able to span entire rooms, allowing for the transfer of larger vessels and equipment. Guys, George, open. Open.
wire
free.
Okay, go north. Like a room up there, but the architecture is the same, but the wallpaper is different. It's a bit greener. Hold on, I need to see if. Nope. I'm not reaching the tunnel I fell from. The opening comes out through the wall, but it's too high. Okay, just stand by and see if I can it. Got it. Here's the camera in check. Seems to be fine. I'm recording, but who knows what the output will be like. Mark, make your way back over to this side. Carefully. Do we have another camera? I need to get this. It has to wait. This takes precedence. Just throw down the guideline with the weight attached. I can use it to climb up. Just try that. There won't be enough length to reach you. George, go right back to standard and bring it together. Hang in there, Marv. What was that? What was what? I don't... I don't know. I didn't hear anything up here. It sounded like... I think there's somebody down here. What? Uh, I, I hear yelling. Like, a person is yelling. Yeah. That makes no sense. Are you sure you're not just hearing us? No, it's definitely not to you. Street lights. Street lights. The 
left hallway, and it's right there, under the gap in the wall. You need to stay at the hall. George will be back any minute, then we can assess the situation from there. Did But what if Miller's right about the null zones? Even if that's the case, I agree with Mark. It's not worth the risk. Oh my god. Marvin? Marvin, do you copy? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Guys, right, what are you doing? Can you hear me? I'm trying to find them. I know how to get back. It's, it's fine. Keep us posted. Hear me! I'm sh Anything. I'm one of the hearts. I can see where the coming from. Send it down! Take a moment. Grab it like, yeah, 
Thank mm-hmm. you.